Hi, this is a quick demo on how to get started with Spring Boot in Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we're going to do here in Visual Studio Code is install some extensions that will help us work with Spring Boot projects. So I'm going to the marketplace and search for Spring and the thing I'm going to install is the Spring Boot extension pack from Pivotal. This will give you some Spring Boot specific support for working in Java files as well as boot properties and YAML file editing. The other thing you get, which is very useful, is a wizard for quickly generating projects using the Spring Initializer service. So that's two things that we want. The other thing that we're going to install is some tooling to work with Java projects in general. So I'm typing Java here, and we're going to install another extension pack called the Java Extension Pack from Microsoft. This pack will give you good Java editing support from Red Hat as well as a debugger, which is the two things that I'm going to demo here. There's a few other things, but I don't have time to go into. Okay, that's good. We've installed those. Let's reload. These, all these plugins we've installed are now active. That was easy. And now we can start creating our project. So I'm just going to do here Spring and choose the option to generate a Maven project. I'll make that a Java project. I won't have to change much. I'll just change it here to Hello World. Okay, and we keep the version that was suggested. I'm going to add a few starters, the web starter, because I'm going to make a Hello World web app. I'm going to add DevTools, because that's nice for debugging and restarting quickly. And the other thing I want is the actuator, which will give us live hovers in the editor, as you'll see later. So. That's very nice, and I want that. So here we go. Um, it's asking us where to save this. I just take this folder here, say OK. It asks me to open the project it just generated, and we're good to go. The project is ready to work with. And here is my project. Once I go in here, you can see that I, for example, I have my uh, support for editing properties files, like I said. So I can put something in here for example like that and you have hovers and editor things like support which i don't have much time to demo so let's do something else i'm going to add a request mapping so in the java files we get some spring boot specific things like a snippet to quickly generate a request mapping i'll make that a hello world request mapping by uh, editing a few things here i'm just going to remove this request parameter and keep things simple and just returns a message. There you go. Um, I need a REST controller. Annotation here. And now my project is ready to run. So um, let's put a breakpoint here because I said we have a debugger. And if I press F5 or go to this menu here, I can start the debugger. The first time I do that, it will generate a launch configuration, which you might want to edit. I don't need to, so I'll just close that again and press F5 again, and this time it will run for real. So now my application is starting. You see the output here. You see a few things which I mentioned earlier. There is this uh, live hover information. If you see this green thing, that means there's something to hover, and it will tell you something about information in the active processes that are related to this piece of code. For example, here it says there is a request mapping in this process which maps to this URL here. So you might want to open that. And uh, for convenience, there is also a code lens for that. So if I click on this now, you'll see that the browser quickly popped up. Browser pops up and open that URL. Um, and then I hit my breakpoint. So this debugger is now active. I could start and stepping and debugging this. Um, this is more or less where I wanted to end my demo. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.